morning, friends. So, I just came in from outside, which is why I still have my hat on. It's a lot colder than, um, it's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. So, I just shared over, in, well, my stories. Um, every single day I do tapping, and I actually just shared a resource for you guys today. <laughs> it's like a cat jungle here. Hey, Gabby. Um, I shared a resource. Um, I love tapping with Brad over on YouTube. It's free. If you've never heard of tapping or EFT, you should look it up. It's pretty freaking awesome. But today I had to modify it because yesterday Katie did some virtual bowing on me or like long distance bowing. And that's an energy practice for me, right? So I don't like to, I'm super sensitive to things. I don't like to do more than one at a time. So I'm allowing the bowing to unwind the stuff in my body. Um, but I was I woke up today just feeling so heavy and sad about Augie and just disappointed in life in general. I think a lot of us are there right now. Like just things aren't the way we thought they were gonna be. I just feel really discouraged. And I woke up okay, so I don't really know what the shift was. So that means today I have to super duper work on my own energy and put on my own oxygen mask and do the things that will support me. Cause you know, yeah. So this morning I'm using this, this is actually, it's an anointing oil. It's a blend. It's called Uncrossing. It's citrus and rosemary. I bought it online at a shop called Kate's Magic. Um, my energy practitioner actually introduced me to their blends and I really like it. I just, it felt right today. And that's what this is all about. It's just being intuitive and doing the things that feel right for you. So we're not one size fits all just because I do something doesn't mean you should do it. Okay. If I jump off a bridge, don't jump off a bridge. Don't worry. I'm not going to jump off a bridge, but you know what I mean? So I'm using my oils today. I went outside, I put my feet in the grass. I touched a tree. I didn't tap through the actual tapping um, that I shared earlier, but I went ahead and just said all the things and I'm going to meditate, but I, time has gotten away from me today. None of my kids are awake yet. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do my workout and I'm going to do some yoga, take care of me, put on my own oxygen mask, and then I'm going to go ahead and excuse me. Thank you. All my cats are right here. All my cats. Well, not all of them, but look, so there's Manny, <laughs> Maisie, Piper, and where'd fart go? Fart. I have this like crap cat food that I've been trying to lure the kitten. Well, he's not a kitten, but I've been trying to lure Augie back with by shaking. And <laughs> they're all running. They're all like, oh, food. You have so many bowls of food, okay? And you can't even see the bottom, so just chill out. Anyway, my heart is very heavy about that. Um, we haven't had any bites on where we have the, the live trap. I don't know what the next step is. Like, I mean, he's been gone like eight nights and I can see where people say that the whole like grief fatigue is real and people just give up. I won't give up because I love that cat more than I thought I did. <laughs> I really miss him. So I'm just doing all the things, continuing to, but it's fatiguing with everything else happening. Like all the other, stop, all the other things. It's just fatiguing. So I just feel super disappointed today and I'm really like, I was shopping for baby stuff for my friend Katie. I'm not going to get to see her bump. Like we all have stuff that we're disappointed. There's all, we've all had things that have happened and I just am feeling that today so that I can feel it and then I can surrender it and be done with it. Um, yeah, so that's my reel. So unicorn juice, control your controllables. It's the name of the game. Something I'm super excited about though, is it's the weekend and we're actually freaking caught up with homework. So I have two days off. Like I never felt so excited about a weekend before in my life, you guys. I'm so, they keep asking me math questions. That shit's hard. I don't know. I told them yesterday. I was like, math is not, was never my strong suit. And so I'm really cautious about the things I say to them because I don't want their, my story to become their stories because that's what we do as kids, right? We adopt our parents' stories. We recreate their bullshit, self-limiting beliefs and all that. And as adults that are present and aware, it's our responsibility to re- create all that stuff and not to duplicate it with our spawn. So anyway, but I was telling them, I'm like, math was something I struggled with for forever. And I went from a private school to a public school and I was in like remedial math forever until finally I just had enough credits and I was like, whatever, I'm done. And you know what? I'm running a successful business. Um, we're abundant and blessed. I don't really feel like me not understanding how to do all kinds of bullshit math has kept me hostage, held me hostage. Cats are seriously freaking out today. I don't know what is happening. Anyways, I've been doing greens in my unicorn juice. I really freaking love it. Um, and so I'm gonna keep doing that. I gotta order more though. So today we're doing lemon, unicorn juice, and greens. I am using, like I said, this uncrossing blend, which is citrus and rosemary. If you have essential oils, you can make your own blends. You know, order some fractionated coconut oil on the freaking internet. 
or through your local oil provider, whoever that person is for you, if you need recommendations. I am not loyal to any one brand because I think there's a lot of really great ones. Oh, I know, it's true. I sold doTERRA for years. I think it's a great oil. I also have an oil company. I also have Young Living. I also have Kate's Magic. I also have Revive. Oh, that's me, I play the field. I just do what feels right. And I encourage you to do the same thing, not just to like, you know, go all in with one thing. You have to like make your own thing that works for you, you guys. Not one size fits all, right, Manny? Okay, so let's pull an affirmation card now that you've listened to me ramble enough. Today, the card is, I am intentional. I move forward calmly and with purpose. Yes, so I'm gonna put this on the fridge. I'm gonna do the things. If you need some oils and you have a certain brand you like, I know lots of people. I'm happy to share their info with you because I think that one, it's not one little thing will change everything, but I'm a big believer in all the teeny tiny things add up to big change truth. So that means I'm going to do all my other things today. I'm going to meditate still. I'm going to move my body. I'm going to eat like I love myself. I have an alarm set on my phone to remind us all to read books for fun today. I'm super excited about that. And um, I'm gonna take a shower and put on makeup and then I'm gonna go for a walk and get outside because that's the kind of stuff that fuels my spirit and makes me just feel better and more optimistic. And I think right now when everything feels so heavy and oppressive and sad and never ending, you need to figure out what that is for you. And then you need to liberally apply it because it's no one else's responsibility to make you happy or help you feel calm or peaceful or encouraged. That's on you, sister. So figure out what that means for you, for me. I do EFT, Google it, YouTube it, follow my stories. And you can, I always share the things I do. If you're in my fit club, I actually share the links I use um, every single day so that if you don't know where to begin, there you go. That's where to begin. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, that's cool too. You do you. <gasps> cool me. So unicorn juice, workout gonna go down. And then I'll tell you what happens with the rest of the day. If you're here, if you're local and you see a black and white cat with a polka dot on his nose, let me know. We heard he might have traveled a, dis a distance. And so personally, I don't think distance matters. Like if you live 30 miles from me and you see a cat that fits that description, I wanna know about it. <laughs> this cat's miraculous. I, he might've flown a plane. He might've just taken a freaking crop duster and flown back to Yuma. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. So that damn cat, he's gonna come home because he belongs here and we're just gonna stay hopeful. Right, Manny? Do you wanna say anything to your people? No, he doesn't. All right, that's all. You do you. I hope you show up today. I hope you own your freaking journey. You celebrate all the little teeny tiny ways you're winning. And if you feel like you're not winning, well then go outside and put your feet in the grass or touch some dirt or plant some flowers or take a couple minutes and have some water and then celebrate the fact that you did that because all those little things add up.